everyone, it's Kellen and welcome back to the Coquette side of YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a video that is probably the third most requested video. It's definitely a question I get asked on TikTok, on Instagram, just all the time really. And that is, how can I dress Coquette? So here is the video, the only guide you are ever going to need on how to dress Coquette. Before we begin, it must be known that there are so many different variations and sub-styles of the coquette aesthetic. For example, there's the Born to Die aesthetic, which is a romanticization of vintage American summers. There's also winter coquette, which obviously is seen more at Christmas, um, definitely for people that live in colder countries that need wintertime looks and outfits. Today, I'm going to simply be discussing what I like to call classic coquette. Classic coquette is kind of the base, more of your generic sort of coquette. It's the one that you see when you type in coquette on Pinterest or on Google. It's very pink, it's very gold, it's very warm tones, light tones, pale tones. Nothing too dark, it's nothing too in your face, too vibrant. That is the style I'm going to be discussing today. I have a list on my phone here. Also, can we just appreciate my little wildflower gifted coquette bunny phone case? It's bunnies and they have bonnets on for spring. How perfect is that? I'm gonna be sectioning this video off into five parts again. Essentials, where to shop, how to build a coquette outfit, what makes a coquette outfit, and anyone can be coquette. Let's start with the essentials. Hang on, one minute. You could have a complete coquette wardrobe. You could have odds and ends of any coquette outfit there was. If you don't own a pair of these, if you want a staple coquette accessory, you're gonna have to get your hands on a pair of heart-shaped sunglasses. The idea of heart-shaped sunglasses originated, I think people picked up on the fact that Lana was singing about heart-shaped sunglasses and wearing heart-shaped sunglasses a lot. It became a real visionary staple for the coquette aesthetic. These are so easy to get hold of. You can buy them from anywhere. You can buy them from eBay, you can buy them from Amazon, Depop, Vinted, secondhand. If you're lucky, you can find them in shops. So many different variations. These are white cream. I also have a pink, a black, a spotty pair, a red pair. Um, they come in loads of different colours, loads of different styles. These are the more cat eye ones, so they're a bit more pointy, but you can also get round ones. Just make any outfit instantly coquette. If you're walking down the street or someone else looks at you and they see that you're wearing these, their head, I bet they're thinking, she's a Lana Del Rey fan, because they're just so... And then, and sip on my Coke, look like I'm in a Lana Del Rey music video. Not really. <laughs> One essential, heart-shaped sunglasses. Go and get yourself a pair. They literally sell them for 90 pence or cents. It depends where you are. Go get them. Heart-shaped sunnies, they're essential. If you go on Pinterest and you type in coquette outfit inspiration, there is a list of some things that you're probably going to see that are pretty much available to buy anywhere. The nice thing about the coquette style is that you can go into any mainstream shop, any shop, anywhere buy online you could do second hand your friend could give you a bag of their old clothes i guarantee you will find at least three coquette things in there because the coquette style whilst it is quite niche and unique and you can find some beautiful coquette pieces that are probably a bit more on the pricey side it's a really generic and easy style if you pair it with the right things I'm gonna list a bunch of them for you now cami tops just the little spaghetti strap ones, they are perfect for summer. Obviously, if you live in a colder country, these aren't gonna be ideal. They can be paired with shorts, they can be paired with a skirt, anything floral. This is more on the pattern side. If you really want something that is gonna go with a lot of things, that's instantly girly, very feminine, you no know, playful. Milk made shirts and dresses. These are so cute. You can get them from H&M, ASOS. They've got usually like a little frill. You can tell it's a milk made if it's got either a little corset in the kind of belly front part. Milk made tops and dresses are both brilliant. Either one. Tops can be paired with a little pair of denim shorts or anything gingham. Usually white. They're usually just a nice staple and you can accessorize around them. Baby doll dresses. I'm I'm wearing one today. These are kind of what I like to call baby doll dresses or if you think kind of a porcelain dolly. A lot of my porcelain dollies wear these. Usually they have like a little Peter Pan collar like this one today. It is from Store Dog Official. This one. Super cute. Um, these also remind me of Alice in Wonderland. Such a coquette movie. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland dress, baby doll dress, tea party dress. There you go. Usually they have puff sleeves um, and a little skater kind of skirt. It can be paired with loads of things. I like to pair mine with a cute little crossbody bag. Cardigans. I live and breathe in cardigans. They are just the perfect snuggle companion, apart from stuffed animals. Cardigans can be paired with 
everything. A dress, a skirt, if you're cold and you're wearing like a little top, you just put a cardigan on and instantly coquette. You can get some really beautiful ones. Ron, we have some gorgeous ones with like little bows on the um, buttons. Get it in a pastel color as well. Cardigans are just, get a big chunky knit one. A cute pair of jeans. Now I know loads of my mutuals and loads of people on TikTok and online that will disagree with me and say that jeans are not coquette. People are very, very specific. Actually in the Dillette aesthetic, which is kind of more on the hyper feminine side, I think jeans are a coquette staple and here is why you can get so many cute ones look look at these amazing girls that have DIY'd their jeans it's something i really want to do this summer but jeans can go with anything you know this the worldwide you know everyone knows jeans go with everything a cute little like button up um or like a little frilly milkmaid top that you can really make them coquette um and they're just they're just comfy they're just an everyday staple you go to the right measures you can make them coquette high waisted skirts Amazon sell these in every color going. If you don't want to buy from Amazon, you can buy them from so many different places. Get mine off Vinted, eBay. Just so, you know, they can be paired with, once again, anything. And they come in so many cute colors. I own a bunch of pastel ones and a red one. And they're high-waisted, they're zip-up. And if you're lucky, you can get the ones with the inbuilt shorts. But if it's a windy day, you don't have to worry about any accidents. That's happened to me too many times. And the nice thing about a short skirt is it's girly, it's feminine, it's like timeless. Definitely get your hands on a few high-waisted skirts. Short. A little pair of denim shorts. I have two pairs because in the UK, you don't get a lot of summertime. I have a baby pink pair. They're super cute. They've got a little bit of lace at the bottom. And I have a very like washed out light blue pair, which are just perfect for summer. Obviously, if you live in a colder country, once again, here in the UK, we don't get a lot of sun. But if you happen to live somewhere where it's quite sunny and quite warm, a pair of shorts are so coquette. Get your little heart-shaped sunglasses onto the side, that's what I like to do in the summer. And yeah, and they just go with everything. Those are some staples. Nice thing about all of the things I've just mentioned is you can mix and match them. Loads of them can create loads of different outfits and you have a really fun time kind of using and experimenting what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what you like. I am such a cardigan and dress girl. I love dresses. I have been trying to wear more jeans this year, especially. I actually lived in my jeans pretty much all year long because it has been freezing and really windy. Don't worry, I haven't forgot. Let's talk about shoes. Okay, the options for coquette shoes are quite limited, I'm gonna be honest. Typing coquette shoes on Pinterest, you are going to see a sea of black Mary Janes. Mary Janes are retro, they're cute. Black ones go with everything, but personally, I wear white ones. Why it just makes my outfits look that much more put together. You can wear whatever you want. Best thing to do if you want to make your shoes coquette though, even if you just have a little pair of strappy shoes, is to wear a pair of patterned cute socks. Preferably the Brandy Melville heart ones. Got them in Italy, but you can get them from anywhere. It doesn't have to be Brandy Melville. You just wear those and with your little buckled shoes and you can see the sock through the shoe. It just it's such a girly and pretty little silhouette. It gives you that extra little bit of height, makes you a bit taller. Quite a short purse so I like to be elevated when I'm wearing pretty outfits. However, if you don't like, you don't like any amount of platform in your shoe whatsoever, then another coquette staple is ballet flats. Different shops won't normally name them ballet flats, but if you just look for a pair of little, little pink flats, that's kind of the options for coquette shoes. Um, There'll be loads, there will be more options, but they're the two that I can highlight as kind of the staple ones. And then finally, pyjamas. These aren't really, they are clothes and they are a staple. Kind of strange to have them in kind of a fashion video, I know. Pyjamas are a really staple part of the coquette aesthetic. There are so many cute sets that you can find online. My favorite kind of type of pyjamas are the spaghetti strap and the short ones. I think it's got a bit of lace um, on the hem or like around the seam. Perfect for summer. Summer there's nothing worse than wearing long, sweaty, ugh, like warm, clinging to pyjamas. Something airy and something light. Coquette ones that I think have taken the lead. Most coquette pyjamas there are are the Brandy Melville Amara Heart ones. I think that's what they're called. They were sold out everywhere but then when I went to Florence in Italy last year, went to the Brandy Melville there and they had them. They had them there. Those are the most coquette ones. If you go on Pinterest you type in coquette pyjamas they always come up and any work i have a cute little floral pair also if you want to go that extra mile these aren't a staple but i'm just gonna add them in here nightgowns i love there's nothing i love more than a good nightgown they're victorian they're very vintage they're very ott and if you want to be comfortable do not wear a nightgown i don't know how women did it in the day i find them restricting i find them really really tight and i can't move in them but they're pretty and that's all that matters. <laughs> Bags. This is my pride and joy. This is my purse. 
Everyone asks where she's from. Isn't she darling? Straps are gold, which is perfect. I attached onto it that a follower crocheted me. Here's the bag. I take this bag everywhere with me. It is from Claire's. No shame. I still shop in Claire's. I love Claire's to this day. You know, how can you walk past a Claire's store and not go in? I have it as a little shoulder bag. But I love wearing her crossbody. It's that beautiful little delicate touch to all of my outfits. I, hope I cannot fit a lot in here, but then again, I don't really need to. I only really take my phone, lip gloss, tissues, perfume, hand cream, all the girly essentials that are small enough to fit in a bag. If you want a coquette bag, I recommend Claire's, Amazon. I see a bunch of coquette girls doing the whole tote bag thing. I own one tote bag um, and it's got biscuits and little guinea pigs on but you know there's just so many different endless possibilities. A little floral tote bag if you don't want to do the whole purse route. If you don't like tote bags you can opt for a purse, maybe save up and get a really expensive one. Whatever works for you. Nothing small, nothing too big and bulky. I'm not a fan of handbags but that again is personal choice so whatever works for you, whatever you want to make look girly and delicate and feminine. Those are what I like to call the essentials, the staples, if you will. You can work around them, you can add things to them, it doesn't match, all of those things combined. Let's talk about where to shop. I did touch on this in my first ever video, how to be a cat, which you can go and watch here. I don't really go in depth on the brands, the shops, things to avoid, things to lean towards, so that more people have a basic and generic understanding of where to shop for coquette items. I'm gonna say it again, best place to find your niche, a unique, something that doesn't really look like what everyone else is wearing. If you want that type of, you know, coquette, looking, the bodysuits, the vintage, secondhand's gonna be your best bet. You can buy any kind of clothing staple from any brand and call it coquette if you pair it with the right coquette things. If you're looking for niche things, I'm gonna put a few examples of what I mean by niche. I mean things that have either been handmade or you Pinterest you were like, um, that isn't in my local H&M or Primark. And I wanna buy these either secondhand or by independent stores. So many beautiful boutiques and online stores where you can buy coquette or delette styled things. That's a trend, so it's very hot at the moment. A lot of these independent boutiques and stores are hopping onto this trend and producing clothes and things that are gonna fit into more of that audience. But if you want affordable brands, most of us do, then I have a list. I'm gonna put the list here. Those are some brands. H&M is one of the best shops to find coquette clothes. I'm really hopping on to some trendy things at the moment, especially in my local H&M. There are so many like cute little floral dresses for summer, some cute bikinis for summer. Any kind of high street store will have coquette things. It's just having that eye and looking for them. Even if whilst you're in the store, in your local you know, clothing store, you have to get coquette style up on Pinterest and hunt around looking for things that kind of resemble an outfit or resemble the aesthetic. Hopefully the list helped you. Pop and Vinted are the best. I use these apps every single day. Every single day I scroll through, I type in, I think my most five suggested search is coquette. Lana Del Rey, girly. There's so many like, you know, keywords, I don't know, girly, floral. It's not impossible to find coquette clothing, but go charity shopping, you know, go vintage shopping. Just have to have the coquette eye for them. How to build a coquette outfit. Coquette style is really down to you. A really personal thing. Of course, there are visuals, there are things that make a coquette outfit. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks of things you can add to your outfit and hopefully they help. Let's start with the base, whether you're wearing a dress or a little shirt and skirt, whatever you want. The silhouette of kind of a coquette look is very feminine. That does mean flirtatious woman, so it's gonna have a very feminine outlook on it. I love anything that's very baby doll. The kind of skirt or the silhouette of it kind of comes out. Um, and it creates kind of like a tulip. So you've got your base, now we wanna build around it. Whether you're wearing a dress or a cute shirt and skirt and jeans and a cute shirt, shorts, you're gonna want to accessorize. I love having three staple things. I love having something on my head, something kind of going on here, and something cute in the shoe area. I love bows, you can see. <laughs> I love wearing a bow so much. It's so timeless and classic. So many beautiful hairstyle tips on Pinterest, and that's another thing, coquette hairstyles. I'll do a separate video on it, but they really make all the difference. Something on top, whether it's a headband, flower in your hair. I love the pearl headbands, they are so coquette. Hair clips, if you wanna do something with your hair instead of, you know, have something on top. So pigtails, little braids. I love milkmaid braids. Milkmaid braids. 
They're so coquette. I, I don't see them enough. In fact, I want to start doing them more myself. Something here, so a pretty necklace, a dainty pair of earrings. Don't, however, overdo it with coquette accessories. Coquette's all about being, you know, minimalistic, but still, you know, romantic. And less is more. Less is so much more. These really help when building a coquette outfit because it's the little details, things that you might not think make a big difference, but to the stranger walking past you in the coffee shop, they will take one look at you and think, wow, they've really put effort into what they look like, their outfit, their accessories. I love a pair of dainty earrings. I am a dangly girl. I love dangly earrings. If you're not and you don't like drop earrings, then stick to studs. I do love studs, but these are the Brandy Melville little heart dropper ones, the waves. I got these from the London store in Covent Garden. There's loads, there's endless, endless possibilities. So many girls make their own jewellery, which is perfect. I vigil with personal touch. If you want to go that step extra, then obviously, like I said, add a purse. A purse is almost like my little finishing suit of like my finishing armor. I have my outfit and then I put this on, the most, you know, boring dress in the world. I put this on, the outfit is complete. Now this is personal choice, but when building a coquette outfit, I love coordinating. I love matching colors. So having that little bit of flair of playfulness, but I also think it's about looking put together. Don't be too strict on yourself. Just have fun with it, it's fashion. But I love anything matching, anything coordinated. So that's how you can build your outfit. You know, make sure to build it around your personality. Make sure it's you. Don't just follow a trend or dress a certain way because you've seen it's popular. Do it for you. Make the outfit your own. Just have fun with it. Now, you might be watching this and being, Helen, you can apply these tips to all fashion styles. It doesn't have to be coquette, which is why I'm about to tell you what makes a coquette outfit. What is something you look at or you see someone wearing, they have a coquette outfit. <laughs> the list goes on and on and on because coquette, whilst it has become very popular and very trendy, it's all about the classic things that you would look at and go, oh, that's girly. And there are obviously loads of feminine and girly things, but I am going to kind of rein in a little bit and kind of talk about the more specific things that make a coquette outfit. Number one, we've already touched on these, but I'm never going to stop going on about them. Just get yourself a pair. So handy. You could have the most boring outfit. You put these on, you're in a music video. Okay, let's talk about florals. I've mentioned them loads. This is what I like to call ditzy floral print. It's the very small floral print. This is big floral print, which isn't on the coquette side. And it's these small details that make an outfit coquette. When wearing any outfit, accessorize minimally. A lot of bling, a lot of statement jewelry. I wouldn't pair them with a coquette outfit. So when buying jewelry, minimal, dainty, small. The color palette is very important in identifying a coquette outfit. The coquette color palette, I like to think, is whites, pinks, beiges, baby blues, summer yellows, and pink. If you look at someone wearing these colors, heart-shaped sunglasses, something floral, a little dainty bracelet or pretty jewelry, something in their hair, bow, the bag, that's coquette. You're winning at coquette life. <laughs> I love lace, instantly a coquette reminder for me. I've seen so many girls on TikTok that are amazing at sewing, unlike myself, I don't know how they do it. I'd love to be able to sew. I add things to their outfits like ribbon and lace, pretty materials, and they buy things that are secondhand, which is something you can do, and then personalizing it and making it coquette. Bows, bows and ribbon are also such a staple as you can see. I love tying bows onto anything, it makes it instantly coquette. The pearls are classic, pearls are timeless. They're just at the top, they're at the top. You add pearls to an outfit, you immediately look elegant. I'm in a little headband, like a pearl necklace. And finally, and the most important one of all, anyone can be coquette. Right, come in. If you've been sitting through this entire video, I'm thinking, this is well and good. Oh, I'm learning so many things, that's fun. I can't dress like this because I don't have a coquette body. What? Nothing breaks my heart more than when I get a comment or a DM saying I love coquette but I can't dress like this because I'm... People might be watching this video that have it in their heads think I have to look like this otherwise I can't dress like this. It's not true, it's so not true and it's not just this style, it's anything. You can wear whatever you want because clothes are clothes. It's an expressive outlet and that is why I love fashion so much. Anyone can be coquette, you don't have to look a certain way. It shouldn't be to conform to the standards of a social media trend and style. I said it, I said it. This is all I'm going to cover today. I really hope this was the video that helped people. Obviously, there are a bunch of things I didn't cover, but I didn't wanna keep going on. I hopefully this video has been a bit of information for you. I don't just specify in the coquette fashion though. Oh no, I am a big fashion 
you know, advocate. Um, I love so many different styles. However, coquette is one that I know I'm gonna have forever. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it taught you something. Thank you so much for all of the love um, on my first video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. I love you very much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. And